Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here. We're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Jack and the Beanstalk, created by White Cider. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, this is a very interesting creation. This is created by one of our Discord master builders, White Cider, and uh, it was sent in as a suggestion by Lauren. Uh, she says, hey yo, Johnny, this is Lauren here, and I wanted uh, here with a submission on behalf of White Cider. He's an expert builder in our Discord, but he hasn't been featured before because most of his workshop is buildings. However, this time he uploaded a coaster, and I think it looks awesome and would like it to be featured if at all all possible. It's called Jack and the Beanstalk and I believe the name is self-descriptive. I hope everyone enjoys and I hope they all visit White Cider's workshop and give him some ratings. He's an amazing creator. Indeed he is, so let's go look. All right, so Jack and the Beanstalk created by White Cider, already 59 ratings. I saw this on the front page of Steam. Uh, let's get it some more subscribers. Let's get it that fifth star. And so come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it. Also guys, come check out White Cider and follow him. 230 followers already. He has some amazing creations. And a little message to White Cider, whenever you make a coaster or ride i don't know if haunted house is a ride but um be sure to submit them via the submission tool posted in our discord and the description of all my videos this is in fact a ride and uh you will be featured on the show pretty quickly because you are absolutely amazing and uh i can't deny not featuring your creations to the audience so well done uh, here's another look at some of his creations. He's done all these wacky houses that you guys see on the front page of Steam quite often. And I uh, love this little fruit basket, by the way. Some really good stuff in here. So keep up the good work. And wow, oh wow, Beauty and the Beast. It's the beast. Look at the detail on that. I find it incredible when people draw these things using the basic shapes like that. Outstanding. Absolutely incredible. Now, if you guys ever took an art class, this is actually pretty smart. You can draw... Have you ever guys did those grid drawings? Um, basically, you you take a drawing and you put a grid over it, and then you start on your own grid, and then you draw it. This is actually a good way of doing that if you were to kind of put some blocks along the edges so you knew what column was what, like column A to Z and columns 1 to 20 or something like that. And then you could go into Photoshop, put a grid over top of a drawing, and you would be able to kind of say, go, okay, what's in uh, column D? Too, and go oh it's just this little piece here and you could actually use the planet coaster grid to help guide you draw into drawing something like this uh that's just came to mind when i saw this that uh that might be an easy way of doing that for you guys very cool all right let's get on with the spotlight so here it is jack in the beanstalk let me open up this coaster oh it's still testing all right we will fast forward this um here's the sign here jack and the beanstalk very nice I guess these are little like uh, pea pods, bean beans. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my goodness! Beautiful little entryway. I am freaking out. Cute little cottage. Let's get a big look at this from the top down. Oh, there's the castle. Now, I don't know. I, okay, is it Fairy Tale Theater, guys? Uh, my sister used to make me watch these uh, live action, or I guess they're just like real, real actors. I think it was called Fairy Tale Theater. Um, and uh, I remember the, the real actor one where it was Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, I do not remember the cartoon one. I, I remember the live actor one. So. Um, it's it's still re very reminiscent. It <laughs> it brings back a lot of memories, and uh, this is incredible. So, guys, when I first saw this on the workshop, uh, I didn't even realize it was a coaster. I saw the screenshot, and I was like, "Oh, that's a cool beanstalk for your parks." I thought it was a blueprint decoration, and uh, then I saw it in the submission box, and I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> So, um, that is quite incredible. Now, one suggestion, I guess, I was going to say you could hide the supports. Because it does look a little bit weird. Um, but I don't know. 
Because, I mean, you got most of the stuff floating already. So why not f hide the rest as well? Um, anyways, it's a Barghast coaster. The lift goes straight up the beanstalk. And it holds you and drops you all the way back down, I guess. At some point, it shoots back up. So it drops you about halfway. And then you go back up into the castle. Uh, let's take a look at this at nighttime. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Love the way those clouds light up and the beanstalk. Love this. All right, we're going to ride it at daytime. Then we'll go to nighttime. And uh, this should be fun. So the ratings are 3.44 excitement, uh, 6.7 fear, and a point, uh, 2.0 nausea. So it is a very terrifying coaster. So much so that they are not having so much fun. <laughs> It's also 300 seconds in duration. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, but they will go on it. It's just they are a little bit scared. And there's nothing wrong with having a good scary coaster once in a while. So we got one taken off right now. All right. Look at that. <laughs> Everyone's just going up this crazy lift. Four coasters. Or trains. I think you could speed up the lift speed. I'm on two times speed right now. Three times speed. Maybe that's the part where they're finding it. It's not too exciting. But I would be excited going up this lift. I would be scared to death. Oh my goodness. Would I ever be. Alright. We're at the top. Alright. I'm going to let my hand off the mouse now. Oh my god. You use a little bit of smoothing there. It's crazy how high up we are. Rare we get experiences like this. This is so cool. I'm getting a little bit nauseous, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it only got a two nausea though, so that's a thing. Now, if you put this in the center of your park and you have amazing vistas, mountains, and stuff like that, this is the coaster to have right in the center because you'll look at the views we're getting here. So if we had mountains all around the sides and in the back, uh, you get a really good look at your whole park. I think it's better than using one of those sundials or uh, help, what are they called? The flat rides that take you up into the air. Elevators. For me, I feel like you could have dropped the people a little bit faster. And uh, you could have incorporated those trim brakes a little bit more. You could definitely be a little bit faster. Did you guys hear that? Men of a Zulu. They did not remove the gibberish. That is not Planko. They are speaking gibberish still. And I could have sworn they said that they were going to be fixing all the Planko. Guess not. Boom. 
All right, I think we'll do a cinematic at night so we can see a little bit of everything. I am in love with this lift. Look at that. World's craziest lift. I think that sets a record. That's definitely the longest straight up lift I have ever seen in 400 plus videos of making Planet Coaster videos. <laughs> this is so gnarly. I just think about cinematic, we can kind of get a better perspective of how fast it's going. And some great views. Oh, the lights are triggered. I like it. Beautiful shot of the castle there. Look at that. Trim brakes sound awful on the barcast. <laughs> All right, I am absolutely blown away by the uh, beanstalk use of just cylinders. Uh, that must have taken a while to construct. Really well done. I love your creativity, White Cider. You use some amazing stuff. Um, be sure to keep submitting some coasters for S Coaster Spotlight so we can uh, we can see more of this. I love it. Keep up the good work, White Cider. So there you have it, everybody. That was Jack and the Beanstalk created by White Cider. And that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Daily Planet Coaster content. And if you guys want to support the channel, you can do so by being becoming a patron and earning rewards or you could simply leave a donation or tip using the links down in the description below thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next video bye now